Hey, Mr. Vincent here. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at our Computech staff web page that was developed for the purpose of a weekly agenda and a syllabus, somewhere where parents can look to know what's going on in your class. Now, I know one more thing. What do I need to do? Hopefully, it's not too much work. Well, we've put together a few pieces to streamline the process. And the reason here is we want all parents to have access to consistent information across all their classes for a few simple things. What the students are working on, some class policy, some class procedures. Myself, I've got lots of distant learning kids uh, here in my house. And in fact, uh, we've got two in elementary school and a hybrid model right now. We've got one in middle school, we've got one in high school, and we've got one in Fresno City. And I can tell you one thing, every teacher's expectations, every teacher's syllabus every teacher's method of delivering the lessons is slightly different from one another and i would be so happy if my teachers had something consistent like this so um, that's why we're offering this to you it will be posted on our website on the computex students website um, later today so please make sure you get a few things updated and if you have any questions I have access, Mrs. Ward, the librarian has access, Mr. Barrett has access. So if there's any questions you have about any of this, please feel free to reach out. We'd be glad to help you in any way we can. Now, your website itself is based in Google Sites. And um, in order to have access, you need to use your last name at computechstaff.com Google account. You have maybe an old Google account with a different username and password. Don't use that one. You need to use the one that's your last name at computechstaff.com. And once you do that, up at the top, you can click the grid next to the Computech logo. And from there, you can click Google Sites. Once you're in Google Sites, you shouldn't have as many as I have here. I have a Google site for every single person that's watching this video. Okay, you don't need to have this many, but you will have one. And yours should be your last name weekly agenda okay and so when you click that it's going to open it up in the editor and now what this is going to allow us to do here is change some things because this site that you see here that was one that has my information in it and so you're going to want to make sure that everything is updated for you I'm not trying to hint at any way anything should be and instead it's it's a framework modify it as you see fit Okay, so that includes the title of your course, that includes your class overview, that includes these pictures. I put these pictures here, those are of my classroom. Easy to switch out. If you have your own pictures, you can click the three dots, replace image, and you can go to upload. If you don't have any pictures of your class, that's fine. Instead, what you can do is go to select image, and there's actually a nice little Google search here. And, you know, you can search for some pictures, you know, oh, that one looks nice and insert it and just swap it out. Um, I highly suggest customize it, make it your own office hours. Those are my office hours. Put yours in. Uh, if I had a picture of you from the 2019 yearbook, I updated your picture here. Um, otherwise, put in a picture of yourself, add some information, read through what's on this template and um, update it some sites that everybody uses feel free to add to that list weekly agenda here you'll see on mine um, that I've got some things already here and um, this is what we really want to update right because we want parents to have access not to the exact assignment you know they don't need to see the worksheet that your your kids working on but they want to have an idea of what's going on in class so they can help their student do not try to edit this here. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at our calendar. And in that video, we're going to uh, look and see how simple it is to add things to this calendar, okay? Uh, scrolling on down here, there's a spot for you to add your syllabus. We're gonna go over that in a different video as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Please stick, stick around. The next video in this playlist is going to deal with the calendar and how we can add events to our calendar. Have a great day.